All right. Um, if you guys watch the Super 8 or the uh, video on the Super ATV winch, you'll know that it just has this um, in and out push button for the winch. And I didn't like that uh, necessarily. I want it to be um, flush mounted with the rest, well, the, with like the all wheel drive switch and everything. So, or this switch. Winch in, winch out. I think it was uh, like 12 bucks on Amazon. It's from Mike Tuning. Laser rocker switch. Um, I read a whole bunch of comments on there that said it's not a momentary switch, that it stays locked. Um, not the case. Uh, I don't know if they were selling the wrong switch for a momentary on. But this one is a momentary on, just like it says. So, um, I have it wired just like it shows here. Um, white, red, white. I have them all jump, jumpered from one side to the other. And then I'm going to have to run the ground. Um, but this should hook up to the three wires that come out of the, uh, the three wires that come out of the, that plug. And I will show you that once I get it apart. Um, but this should be really simple just to go ahead and um, cut the ends, put these new connectors on there, and uh, tape over them, and I'll be done. So um, once I get that apart, I'll show you what it looks like on the inside, and we will get this mounted and uh, move on from there. I don't know if this is going to light up all the time whenever there's power to this switch, because the red wire coming in will be power. I'm not sure if it's going to light up all the time or just whenever I press winch out or winch in, uh, if it'll just light up then. So we will see that together uh, here momentarily. Let me go ahead and take that other switch apart. All right. So here's the switch. It is simply just three, three wires that are soldered on the back of here. So what did I do with my switch? This is the wire that I'm going to use as ground. I didn't have any black wires, so that's what I'm going to have to go with. Shouldn't be any big deal. This is out. I just took this ground from the same spot the heater has its ground on the frame. I'll show you that in a moment. I sure hope this fits in that spot because I haven't actually fit it in there yet. That would be bad if it didn't. Let me grab some tape. Alright, I have something better than tape. I have some shrink wrap.
Okay, that'll keep them from touching. And I still need to hook up. Ground, which... Before I go ahead and push that in there. Okay, so it doesn't light up until you hit the switch. Let me make sure it's going out whenever it says out. Okay, winch in and winch out are backwards for some reason. And you saw how I did it. So now that I've gone and shrink wrapped that already, that kind of messes me up. But no big deal. You can pull these off of here. Start over. Okay, let's see what happens. Winch in. Winch. All right. So now that's good. Now I just need to um, set it in this panel. I will be done. <laughs> so much for seven in this panel. Pretty decent. Uh, looks way better than having this big old switch dangling out there. So uh, this is just about the same switch that um, I saw on Super ATV that they sold, um, and a couple other places that they want like thirty bucks for the switch. Like I said I got it off of Amazon for like fourteen dollars or something, maybe cheaper than that. I'll, I'll post the link. Um, but it works good. It is momentary like the uh, comments say It's not a momentary switch. I did look everybody that said it wasn't a momentary switch was from Like around September of 2015 it is October of 2016 now and I saw uh, good reviews on that um, From there saying that it worked well and this and that so that's why I went ahead and ordered it so like I said I will post the link and uh I hope this helps you, especially if you want to install a, um, I'm probably going to do LED lights in this one, uh, front ones and then maybe back ones there, and then I think I'm done 
with stuff on this, but we'll see. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helps you. Comment, like the video, subscribe, share. Uh, I appreciate it.